Bison keeper Clara McCormick has made one save thus far, and that's all she's been tested on. It was a pretty sliding stop, but outside of that, she's just gotten to rest back there for the most part. Holy Cross has only taken two shots and is yet to convert. In the midfield, Bucknell sets up shop. They'll bring back on their starting defender, Grace McAvoy, in a moment. Possession goes back to Holy Cross here on that whistle. Pass in for Little. Over to Walsh. She was doubled up there, and it's taken away by Bush. Pushes it forward. Pavlidis tried to get fancy. Couldn't keep it on her stick, but she does get the whistle. Bush in the middle to Melberger. Back to Nelson, already has one goal, and just misses off the post. Would have been two in this one for the freshman, but Nelson just couldn't convert. Let's look at it here. Look at that. Sets up a lot of power. Oh, I think it hit the side of Gabby Venezia. Might have hit her hip there. Remains 2-0. And Bucknell with 12 shots to Holy Cross's two. Final eight of the first half. Little. Good work to keep herself in play. But there's nowhere to go with that ball. Into a dangerous spot along the post, though, is McCormick had to crouch for that. And it winds up being a Holy Cross corner. McAvoy, Zelinski, Kistard, and Mia Fields all getting the headgear on. Third corner for the Holy Cross Crusaders. They go with a new inserter here, Lily Watson. Last time, Caitlin Little had trouble sending in a pass. Little does stand out on the perimeter, though. Bunched up at center. Pass over to Little. She shoots, and it's deflected in. The strategy works. Caitlin Little off the pad of McCormick gets Holy Cross on the board. The third penalty corner is a charm for the Crusaders. Let's take a look as Holy Cross converts one. Little with lots of room out on the side as the Crusaders bunched up the opposite side and freed up their senior defender from Acton, Massachusetts. Bucknell still with the lead. And they're now trying to preserve that lead and push forward. Walsh the takeaway. Pass slid up ahead. McDonough couldn't handle it. As she was hounded by the Patriot League preseason defensive player of the year, Aaron Zielinski. Here is Zielinski. Over to McAvoy. Through a crown, Bucknell winds up with it. Upfield, opportunity for Pavlidis. Gets the whistle, and some claps from the Bucknell side. Right back to work, another corner. Bucknell's got eight of them. They've already scored on two of them. Let's see if they can make it three for eight right here. Penalty corner, the most exciting sequence in the sport of field hockey. Maddie Rehack to trigger in. They've had Kayla Kistard insert a few times. She stands on the right of the perimeter for Bucknell. Aaron Zielinski with the stick down. Lily Nelson right behind her. Nelson. Fires and scores! 3-1 Bucknell. 
The Bison convert yet again. The freshman second of the contest, her third of the year. And Bucknell responds after allowing a Holy Cross goal a few seconds ago. Zelinski sets her up and over to the right side of the goal. Ross couldn't get there. Aaron Zelinski's fourth assist of the year. Got the stick down and the feed by Rehack also to credit her on the play. Meanwhile, Nelson a takeaway for Bucknell. Long touch ahead. Pavlidis broken up. Whistle and another corner. Bucknell will get a ninth corner here in the first half and we still have 6.22 to go in the second. Holy Cross seems to have poked the bear a little bit with that lone goal less than a minute ago. Bucknell immediately responds with one and potentially two. Maddie Rehack to insert. Zelensky tees up Nelson again, this time wide. It's the right idea to send the inserter Rehack over to the post. A lot of traffic and chaos there. Rianne Burgess was also in the area, but none of them could poke it in. Bucknell off some sloppy passing, winds up with it again in attack mode. Bush. Pass didn't have too much on it. Holy Cross gets possession. Holy Cross up ahead. Louis Nelson, two goals for Bucknell. Rachel Appa also with the goal for the Bison. They've gone three for nine on penalty corners. Coach Jeremy Cook was pleased with Bucknell's performance on the corners last game as that was almost a dangerous ball in there as Nelson got one that was deflected and nearly challenged Ross. Now with the self-start, roaming inside the 25. Nelson gets a whistle, and just outside the circle, Bucknell starts it up. Stefanowitz, the team's leading scorer. She's now actually tied for the team leading goals with Nelson with her two here. And yet again, the headgear is seen a lot of use in this first half. 3-1 Bucknell. Holy Cross got its first and only goal not too long ago. Caitlin Little blasted one home off a penalty corner. And then Bucknell answered right back with a Louie Nelson goal. The insert. Set down. Nelson again. And it goes through. 4-1 Bucknell. A penalty corner party in Lewisburg. She's got three in the first half. Let's take a look. The insert was clean. Zelinski does her job. And it looks like it might have hit the foot of a Crusader. It was Maddie Rehack on the insert. And with 4.20 to go in the first half, Bucknell pushes the lead further. 